Alright. Hello, everyone out there, and welcome to Grim Dawn. It's an ARPG. I've played a little bit of it before, that guy, but now we're gonna play this guy. So, let's start it off. Ooh, baby, it's a loading screen. I'll let you guys just watch the cutscene without any of me going on. Oh. We paid a heavy price, but the trap worked. You seem surprised. It's been a while since we've had a win. How long will it hold? I've never entrapped a being like this, but the bonds hold for now. How do we dispose of it? I'm just a witch. You're the soldier. If it bleeds, I can kill it. How do you kill a spirit, though? If you kill the mortal vessel while it's bound, the spirit may perish within. If it escapes... It's listening to us. What are you? Others of your kind name us Ethereum. Why have you invaded our world? Your world. We existed first. We were managed by your corrupt gods. Your planet opened the way, and now we return to reclaim the one which should be ours. I've heard enough of this rubbish. Let's hang it. is a human now. The captain is correct. When they awaken, they won't remember a thing. The ethereal was right. The war is lost. We're a resistance now, and we need every human survivor we can call to our cause. Maybe this one here can still die with some honor. If they ever wake up, send them to me. If they don't, bury them deep with the others. All right, story. Man, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good times. Opens off with some action, you know, you died, it's great. And then we're here. Hey, Still let's talk to this guy. I see. You're one lucky bastard, I'll give you that. Uh, Best go speak to Captain Bourbon right, right away. See he seems to have a plan for you now that we've spared your life. What happened? How did I get here? You were possessed. So we uh, strung you up. Seems the spirit fled your body before your life ran out. I'd have left you to hang, but uh, the captain had other plans. He sees some purpose in you, and I'm not going to argue. Where can I find this captain, then? He's, um, up the road, in the courtyard. Don't make me regret cutting you down. You didn't cut me down, you fucking asshole. The captain did. Eat shit. Alright, later. What is this? These little dots on the map up here are the things. You gotta talk to them. Except you can't talk to this one, apparently. The game's it's already proven me wrong. This is like a thing. Iron bits, by the way, because I... Th my last playthrough, I immediately ran over here and was like, What the fuck is this? Iron bits are just gold. They just, they call them iron bits, though. And scrap is, you know, it's just the resource. Alright, that's cool, though. Can't do that now, but sometime later we'll, we'll do that. And yeah. But for now, we gotta go talk to... I'm not gonna talk to everyone this time, but I am gonna for talk to this guy. Because this guy is, like, my favorite really character in the game. It, but then again, no one really 
really cares what old Barnabas thinks. You really should go speak with the captain. You'll be the one deciding whether there's a place for you here at Devil's Crossing. All right, later. Yeah, we do we do some quests for him later. He's a he's a cool guy. I just like his voice. Anyway, I unlocked the rift gate. It's like the portals from Diablo Three. That's like all it is. You're Talk not to this guy. Too bad for someone just come back from the brink of death. You were taken, possessed by the same creatures that have been reanimating these zombies here. Normally, I'd have burned you with the rest to be safe, but we've lost too many people to the dead. I need someone expendable. Someone with nothing to lose, but a lot to gain. Right now, you are that person. Prove your worth to me, and the survivors of Devil's Crossing may just welcome you. What is it you want me to do? are rising again in some horrible unlife. Corpses don't just get up and move around on their own. Something is reanimating our deceased with ethereal energy. We have observed the dead for some time, and they appear to be flooding Lower Crossing from the burial hill just beyond town. I want you to go to the burial hill, find whatever is controlling these abominations, and destroy it. Where can I you find burial hill? You find your way through Lower Crossing. Once you've crossed the stream on the far side of town, there will be a beaten path leading up to Burial Hill. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I'd be asking a lot of my people to welcome you with open arms, too. Help us in our hour of need, and I will open Devil's Crossing to you. All right, I'll find once you're animating those corpses. All right, that's... What is it now? I will shut up. That's the only quest right now. This guy's a merchant. Took me a while to figure that out, but I don't have any gold. The little green things, as far as I can tell, just means they have, like, a new conversation option. So, right now, I don't think any of these do anything, so I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. Or mine, because, you know, I already did all of it. So we're just gonna head for this, the burial hill. Which means we're gonna be killing a lot of zombies. Oop. You get like all your all your stuff at level two. At level one, it's just hitting people with clubs. Boop, boop. Just lots of thwacking, but at least it doesn't take too long. Now oh, look, get getting armor already. I can't put it on. That's great. Let's kill this giant cockroach. And just explore this area for now because we got to get the levels you know it's an, it's an important part of the experience you gotta get strong you must become incredible fight fight there we go level two all right i hear fighting going on and i just want to stop that so because as far as i can tell like leveling up being in menus doesn't pause the game which Personally, I don't like, but it's not a big deal. So, all right, level up. Uh, I'm gonna play a Nightblade this time, which is like a rogue. I played a Shaman last time, and it was pretty fun. But Nightblade seems like my kind of thing. Really, really fast attacks, some minor spells. Hopefully, a lot of crits, because I like me. I like crit-based characters. Like this guy's straight melee. This is like guns. Both of these are different types of mages, and then this is sort of like a. A spell blade, I guess, magic and melee, but this time it's gonna be night blade. So, if you've ever played uh, Titan Quest before, I'm pretty sure this is like the same sort of skill system as in that game. I didn't actually play Titan Quest all that much, so I'm not completely sure, but yeah, it reminds me a lot of Titan Quest. You put points into this bar down the bottom, and that Constitution is converted into health and out of combat, allowing you to regenerate between fights while your constitution lasts. Okay, sorry for interrupting, it's just this little gold thing was always there and I never actually knew what it did because I guess I didn't, I, I guess I didn't read that bar last time. Now I know what it does though, that's good. Alright, so you put these points in this bar down at the bottom and as you put more points in this, you get stats out of it. Physique is like strength, cunning is like dexterity, spirit is like whatever various magic casting stats, different games use, health and energy is just health and mana, you know? Pretty basic stuff. And then the circles are passives, the squares are active skills. So let's read what all Nightblade does. Among the most fun 
fundamental skills of the Night Blade are the mastery of dual melee weapons, favoring the use of piercing blades and the art of drawing elemental cold from iron and steel. Oh, okay, so they're cold based. I didn't know that. This is a melee dual wielding bonus. Also, ability enables the ability to dual wield. Okay, so we got a dual wield, so we got to put one of our originally three points in that. Now we're just down to one. And then let's pick which one of these we like more. Master, uh, Master of Assassins, Amaras, the legendary among the Nightblades for her Alaricity, developed a, time, a technique by which she would unleash a burst of deadly phantasmal blades which spread out from the point of attack to impale all adjacent foes. That sounds fun. So just like a, a big area attack, those are always helpful. And then... A psionic veil clouds the minds of nearby enemies, slowing their movements and diminishing their effectiveness in combat. This ability must remain toggled. Oh, it's a toggle. My... What? Oh, okay, so it makes things slower around me. Like, that's one thing I kind of don't like this game, and I can't, like, mouse up to highlight it, but it's, like... It doesn't always tell you exactly what this thing does, because it's, like... You would think this was, like, just bad, right? Based on, like, just the four little things it has there. Like, all it does is take away your energy, have a radius of, like, nothing. And the way I'm reading that is it takes away your offensive ability and total speed. But I guess that's the monsters? Which, alright, kind of makes sense. But I think this level will go with this one. Because that one seems good. We'll put a point in that next level, which the first few levels you get really fast. This devotion, yeah, confirm those. This devotion thing, we're, we'll get into it later. I didn't even get into it that much on my other character, but... But, anyway. Alright, we'll put the we'll put our right-click ability there. Once I get a second melee weapon, I'll dual wield. It shouldn't take too long to drop, hopefully. There's the fighting, alright. Oh yeah, it's Terrier's skill. I don't know what it did, but it killed them, so I guess it's okay. Check the house. Nothing, nothing in the house? Alright. Good house. I mean, some houses just don't have anything in it. I guess it's realistic. Yeah, alright. Our, our right click is just a, just a big area attack. That's, it's always good to have. Happy, happy that we got it. Fight some bugs, fight some bugs. There's an outhouse. We're gonna explore this, like, entire area because a bit later in the game we need this resource called Scrap, and that can drop from, like, anywhere in here. So we're just gonna explore this whole area and try and get as much of it as we can. Shouldn't take too long. Looks like we've already got most of the area explored. And then we just head up, and uh, the place we need to go is, like, a little bit farther this way. But we're just going to, for now, at least until we get... Honestly, I'm probably going to explore most areas fully just to try and get as much stuff as possible. Alright. And, you know, until we... Oh, we got a... Those are like lore books. I'll read those. I'll just go ahead and read those out loud for all you guys. Going to be a lot of reading this episode, like reading and watching this episode. Hopefully we'll have some... Some more watching in the future. Some more, some more action. You know, I gotta remember what button it is to get to those. I have never opened this tab before. Apparently, I never pressed J. We're hostile with someone. We're hostile with two people. Oh no! Who even are these guys? I'll, I'll read that later. That doesn't matter right now. There's the thing. All right, that's our quest. That's completed quest. No lore? I just picked up a lore entry. I guess, alright, I guess since I got it in the other playthrough, I don't get to read that one for some reason. But, anyway, those, like, purple books that drop on the ground, those are just... Those are just things that they give you some nice little lore, and I don't know why I couldn't read that one exactly, but... Whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot, you, you get two kinds of points when you level up. And because I went to the Devotion, it didn't take me to the other one, but it's just... It's just an attribute point. We're gonna put it in the str the weapon damage one, which is cunning. Because we're a rogue, I figure we'll need lots of that. I still don't understand exactly how this right-click ability works, but it seems to be just a big a big area damage thing, so whatever, it's it's not too complicated. 
It hasn't dropped a second weapon yet. It dropped this gun, but I don't, I don't want to use a gun. Oh, that's right. You have to... I'm an idiot. You have to lure click the things in your, your inventory. All right. The Harbor Master's Log. Autumn fogs are approaching early this year, but traffic remains unusually high. There is a steady flow of small craft coming down from Malmuth and other townships to the nor'east. Some of these boats are barely afloat, burdened with what looks like people's every possession. These travelers, sometimes entire families, bring with them strange tales of wars and the unnatural. A bunch of hogwash riling up the soft townsfolk. Can't complain, though, keeps the docks busy. Most are westbound, trying to get as far away as they can. The lads at the docks are starting to lose their nerve. Some have talked about setting out west themselves, but I've assured them this is all nonsense and will pass. Youth are easily caught up in the energy of the moment. Alrighty then. We got, we've got a lot of armor, but only one weapon. So yeah, apparently is the, there's a fucking war going on and people are trying to get away from it. That's what's going on there. There's nothing out here. All right, let's go fight some dudes. Bash, bash, bash. Ice. Bash, bash. There we go. Give him, give him some more levels. All right. Uh, that's not the button you hit to level up. This is the button you hit to level up. All right. So we'll go ahead and put a point in that because that seems that seems decent. Just gonna make me take a lot less damage, hopefully. And then probably for now, I'm just gonna stack a lot of points in this passive because it seems good. Just. It just adds damage, right? Yeah, like once I get a once I get a dual melee weapon, this should help me deal a lot more damage. Alright. So let's put a point into that and a point into our passive so that we can get better skills at some point. Since I don't have a second melee weapon, I maybe should have just put the two points like directly into the passive. But, nah, that, that right-click ability seems really good, because I definitely want to dual wield, or not right-click ability, that, that top passive ability seems really good, because I do just want to dual wield. There we go, there's some weapons. Alright, which one's, which one's best? Six damage, five damage. Alright, that one goes there, this one goes here. Get over there. Uh, that's, there we go. Oh yeah, and more, more points here. There we go. For now, we're going to put it all in weapon damage. Eventually, we'll start putting some in, in uh, physique, which is health. I think I said earlier with strength and dex, it's it's more like constitution and strength, actually. But you need the, uh, you need the, wow, I'm, I am dealing, a, okay, these guys are all level one, so they're lower level, but it feels like I'm dealing a lot more damage now that I got that second weapon. There's another guy in here. Well, I'm liking this now. Now I'm actually, like, dealing a lot of damage. Oh, it's a boss! Ah, oh, fight! I'm just gonna drop some... Drop some attacks down. Oh, I forgot to activate the passive thing, too. The aura. And that's... Wow, that's a lot of stuff, actually. Alright. I'm playing this on, um... The veteran difficulty, which is just, like, slight hard mode and last time I was playing on normal. So... For a while, I might be surprised by the, like, drop quality, because it should be, should be a lot better. And it gave me two, two-handed weapons. And two things I can't wear. Fucking great. Alright, well, whatever, they'll, uh, they'll sell for some iron whenever we go back to town. Die. Die. I hit right click there. Why didn't it right click? Whatever. You know, we'll get used to it. This guy, he's, he's gotta be pretty strong. He's like, I understand like he's supposed to be dual wielding, but he's wielding like a big fucking axe and a mace together. Like, damn, this guy, this guy's gotta be a pretty, a pretty strong fella. I'm enjoying it, is what I'm saying. I like I like the the style. 
and event eventually there is the option to multi-class in this game. It, it even, as far as I can tell, it even makes you multi-class. So we'll be doing that at level 10 was when we did it last time. And it's been a while and, you know, it's going to take me a while to read these. So I think for now, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Be back with another episode later. Have a good time.